Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're working on a walk-in cooler and it's super warm. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a walk-in refrigerator. It's currently at 68 degrees and definitely too warm. Definitely want to make sure that the fan is running. And if there's multiple blowers, they are all running. This is a single blower. It's a Vaughn cooler. At least the air handler and the condensing unit. So let's see. Single fan is running. I gotta get a light in there, but right there is a thermostat. And it sets at 35 degrees. And it's not. According to my thermometer, it's at 67.6, 68 degrees. And that is matching up with the temperature on the door. All right, so here are all the water-cooled condensing units. Somebody asked if these are all dumping water. It is not. It is tied into the cooling tower. Here's our condensing unit right here. Bond. Compressor. Compressor is not running and it's cold. All right, let's see what's going on with the control panel. So as of right now, that compressor is cold. What was that? That shouldn't be there. And this cover is not easy to take off. Why do they do it? This thing is in the way. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. All right. I got no light on this defrost clock. We got a contactor here. We got a switch, defrost clock. This switch, it says that this is in the on position. What is that? Pressure control. You never know, sometimes they're stuck. Let's see, do we even have power coming in here? Because there should be a light on this defrost clock. As far as power, it looks like this this BX. And it goes right into that ceiling there. We don't even have a disconnect for that oh, I guess this is the disconnect right here this on and off switch so where is that wire coming from I see these two red coming in so this is gonna be power coming in right here so one side of the contactor volts AC and as you can see we do have 208 that switch is backwards so down and we got power so we got 208 this is the coil for the contactor somehow that thermostat should be energizing that just make sure we don't have power across we don't so something's holding out our control circuit let me see some this does this compressor even start Yep, compressor starts. So it's something electrical going on right now. So where does the circuit come from? Something goes through here. And it also goes through here. What is this little on and off switch? said that it's on we're not getting power here though I heard it click and yeah, nothing with this 
All right, let's, we gotta trace out this coil circuit. Somewhere through here, we're not getting cooling. Took over the cover for the thermostat. I just wanna make sure we got power and that the thermostat is actually calling. Let's check from one side to ground. We got 120, another line to ground, 120. So power is passing through. So we should get zero volts across. Might be a little hard to do. But yeah, this is sending power through. Zero. And on each leg to ground, we got power. So thermostat is operating and it's telling us we need cooling and it's sending power to the other room. The issue's gotta be at that condensing unit. All right, so we have cut in and cut out. We have like some sort of pressure control here. One leg to ground, 120. Another leg to ground, 120. Same thing. And across, two wires. We are good. So, thermostat's calling. We don't have an issue with pressure. What else is here? We got these things here. So what, switch goes into that, into there, then it comes out and goes through that pressure control and back here. Is it this switch or is it that? Where is the thermostat? Where does the thermostat come in? Oh, the thermostat goes through there. So maybe this... I gotta see where this power is coming from. Something is going on with these controls. Is there like some kind of reset? Or, or is this thing just bad? What happened here? Alright, here's a little clue. There's a little black stain on this cover. Where... Where was that? Is that through this wire or something? Is something below here? Is this thing good? We gotta check this thing. We gotta figure out how it works. But we don't have a light on here. Gotta figure out where this power comes from. Is this thing getting power? So power comes in through this switch and into these two terminals. We have 208 there. And let's make sure we got power coming in here through the switch. And that is true because this is the thermostat cable. That thing goes to the thermostat. So let's see, power comes in through here and into the white wire. That white wire goes into that thermostat and then comes back red here. Do we have power here? One twenty. So we got power into the switch and power coming out of the switch. Okay, man. Let me check something. Yep. Start coming into the switch. And then we got power coming out of the switch. And then from there, do we have power coming out of that control? That is the question. Gotta be careful with that one. We got power coming out of that switch. Okay, then it goes into something here, which is this thing, yep, then it comes out Thanks for dropping my light So then it's going through this thing So then it's coming through this and it's power coming out, right? Got power coming out. Okay. So it's 
the whole coil cycle is going through. What about the other side? Do we have power on the other side of the coil? I don't get this right now. We got power on the other side of the coil, but we don't have nothing across. Is that a bad contact there? Hold up a second. Powers. Wait, I don't get this. Let me think about this. All right, so this not having a light kind of got me confused, but now that I'm thinking about it, you see this mark to go like this? Right there, some kind of burnout. I think it's that contact there. It's a 208 volt coil contact there. If we got 120 on this side, right? We got 120. It's getting the power through here. And if we got 120 on this side, it went through the thermostat and all the safeties. I think this is a bad contact there. That coil might be gone. That's why we don't got nothing across. And that makes sense with this burn mark. I disconnected the wires and the coil. Look, one side, you got 120 to ground. Hold up, 120. But then this one, We only have 28 volts to ground. So that kind of tricked me. Something from here didn't close on the circuit. That's why we don't got the real 208 across. But how come we got zero across the coil? It's just kind of strange right now. All right, so I unplugged that one side. Something with this. How come we got 20-something volts? That's so weird. Look, we only got 28 volts. 28 volts coming out of this switch. What? Only 28 coming out. What about coming in? 28. Hold up, we got 120. What? All right, so we got, we got the 208 coming in. Then it got this blue leg goes into here, into the white. 120. Then it comes out. 28. Hold up. Twenty eight volts. That's coming from the thermostat. This makes no sense, man. That wire disconnected. I don't get it. So That white wire is coming in. 28 volts. And 28 volts coming out. <clears throat> oh man, I see a broken wire right, right there. How is that even working? I see the broken wire right there, guys. Wow. Got lucky, man. That's gotta be it. All right, turn the switch off over there. That's the ground, we got nothing. Look, this wire broke, the white wire. You can see the burn mark on it. How did it burn out though? Wow. That's so lucky I caught it, that was so weird. Only until I unplugged it did we get like that strange feedback. So strange. Pull this out. Look at that. I'm gonna 
gonna take a picture and see look see how it broke. Man, that was a tricky one guys. We got a little bit of slack. Let's uh strip this wire back. Get the space that we need. Wow. That was wild. Let's strip this back and put the cable back, two wires. All right guys, I put the two wires back. Let's turn on the condenser unit and see what happens. All right guys, here goes nothing. Oh, compressor started, man. That's what I'm talking about. We still don't got a light here though. Contactor pulled in. Prove it to you guys. Here's the compressor wires. And we got 4.9 amps. That's a beautiful thing. So it wasn't the contactor. That was so weird. That gave us like a weird feedback. I had 120 on each side, but it wasn't true. Man, that's uh That's a new one for me, man. Let's show we're supposed to have 208 across the coil. And now we got 208 across the coil. Got 120 to ground on one side and 120 to ground on the other side. You see, that was weird because that would indicate we had a bad contactor, but when I pulled the wire off, it showed 28 volts. Man, that was so strange, man. So strange. Whoa, I was trying to take the light. I got some Madhava. Whew. Wrong stuff. Oh, it's agave. Thought it was some liquor. I mean, I could use a shot right now after this call. <laughs> All right, we got a sight glass there. We got some bubbles, but it just, just started. Let's give it a chance to condense and all that stuff. And let's check back in with this. Where is the suction line? This line. Oh, no. This line. feels cold feels cold let's give it a chance let's let this thing run and let's see what happens all right everyone we're just about where we need to be we want to be between 35 and 40 degrees for a refrigerator we are now at 41 degrees we're just going to wait for the thermostat to satisfy but it looks like everything is good here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time